our school started a token system. So basically, you behaved well, answered all the questions, and kept your bench neat. And you would get plastic coins with various colors and numbers that looked something like this. Once a term, we got to use those coins to buy toys and stationery. Our formerly unruly class was now the most perfect little angels. In fact, within three months, we had been so good that we had actually earned more token points than coins in circulation. Our teacher had to start marking the points down on a chart and the physical coins were removed. I remember the first time I ever learned to bake a cake. It was with my first grade teacher. Together, the class made three cakes. Even after six years, I still remember every detail of it. At a glance, you could say, hey, what's this teacher doing? She ought to be teaching kids maths. But in reality, the teachers had cleverly managed to teach us a lot. Calculations, measurements, and more. And at the end of that hard work, we all got the reward of a delicious slice of cake. It was amazing, and most of the students performed well in the next maths test. These were examples of gamification. So what exactly is gamification? It means to incorporate game elements like rewards, scores, points, etc. into something like teaching. What I'm trying to say is that using this tool, gamification, we can help students learn in a better way. Gamification has been around for nearly a century, but in terms of education, I believe that it hasn't been used to its complete potential. So I'm sure that nearly everyone can relate to that tired, bored feeling when facts are just being relayed to you. I know, I felt the same. The problem's not really about the actual things that are taught, but more about the way that it's presented to students. Picture this, you're a teacher in a classroom about to teach history. If you started by saying, we will be studying World War II, please turn your books to page 74. I guarantee you, half your class will be daydreaming by the time you finish. Most likely, you won't be able to captivate your students or get them really interested in the topic. But think how their reaction would be if you said, it was 1st September, 1939. Troops from various countries were to be rallied in preparation for the oncoming World War II. Using another sub-element of gamification, storytelling, you can grab people's attention. Gamification allows children to have a fun and interactive education. Using this tool, we will be able to help students to understand concepts and later solve real-world problems. By changing our current schooling system in this way, we might be able to help everyone, everyone, retain this knowledge throughout life. For example, I always love learning history and it's really exciting to me. I know for a fact that my friends don't necessarily share the same views. Some of them have confessed that they think it's a drag. Well, maybe that's because the way of teaching needs to be changed. I remember my friends being reluctant to start a conversation on the topic but once I described it like an epic war with protagonists and antagonists, they were really absorbed. So why? Why is gamification that important anyway? Have you ever noticed that any chore becomes a breeze when we're having fun while doing it? In one of my favorite books, The Adventures of Tom Sawyer, Tom makes the uber boring task of whitewashing a fence really exciting. He even got his friends to view things in favor of this argument. In the same way, we can make learning a fun and fascinating adventure for everyone. One thing I've noticed is that when people are actually enjoying the subject at hand, it lets them see things in a different light. It gives us a new perspective on things. Games and practicals like projects and experiments are really important. And I'm sure everyone wants to have a good time in school. Why can't learning become an awesome adventure? 
It makes learning so much better, like adding sugar to an ice cream mix. You wouldn't enjoy it if it just if it just tasted like frozen cream, right? In the same way, a spoonful of games can go a long way. Another thing that I consider is essential for the betterment of the schooling system is an interactive learning. In the past, most people would consider teaching as a one-way transfer of information with the teacher speaking and the students being recipients of new knowledge. But a new, in fact a 21st century version would be one where both the students and the teachers take equal part in an exchange of information and ideas. In my class, we always share new facts or the current news with each other. And with our teacher adding inputs too, we start a class conversation. It was really fun and we got to hear news from around the world. Whether it was politics or a media shower, we kept discussing various topics. This kept us regularly informed about what was going on in the world around us. We all tend to drift off sometimes when we find a subject boring and especially when we feel that there is nothing we can do with all that new knowledge. In subjects like science and IT, because we can actually experiment with things, a lot of people find it more interesting. If only there was a way to make other subjects like say maths and social studies more interesting for every student. With this two-way interaction, we can form a collaboration between students and teachers to learn a lesson. We also, we also learn the important skill of thinking outside the box. Instead of being restrained in the boundaries of a curriculum, why not share in the diversity and cultures from around the world? Or maybe discussing current affairs can help in understanding both sides of a scenario. Rapid round quizzes were another thing that we did as a class, and I believe it brought us a lot closer. It certainly broadened our horizons. The use of AR, VR, and MR in our classrooms is an advanced form of gamifying learning. With this tech, we could bring forth a whole new world of possibilities. What if you could experience history, blast off into outer space, dive into the deepest oceans, all while standing in your classrooms? Teachers could take their students to various locations around the world, or even see an atom spinning. And apps? are another form of gamifying learning, which is incredibly far-reaching. Now anyone with an internet connection and a device can have access to good quality education and contact to teachers. People anywhere in the world can learn the subjects they want to without even having to leave their homes. We students, we never missed a year of our schooling thanks to a couple of apps. Now one thing to understand is that every student is different. They have different needs and unique, uh, unique abilities. They all need individualized assistance to help improve their weak spots. In a class of children, sometimes their individual requirements will be overlooked. But now, with an individualized form of learning, they will be able to excel with the extra help. The use of flashcards, pictures, and charts also helps us to understand. This is because up to 90% of the data processed by your brain is visual. Gamification has so many benefits, like firstly, it stays in a person's memory for longer. Certain studies show that seeing visuals while learning can help improve your memory of a subject by up to 400%. Secondly, Complex concepts can be explained in an easy way. Can you imagine for me, in your head, a purple colored plane figure with four equal straight sides and four right angles? Yep, it's a purple square. But did figuring out what I was talking about confuse you for a second? What if I wanted you to understand what a purple square was, but instead of saying all that stuff, I just showed you this picture? Right away, you can understand everything that I just mentioned without all the confusion. 
Thirdly, games let us experience things firsthand. For instance, a play on a historical figure, or maybe a treasure hunt to find the material that will conduct electricity. Additionally, a collaboration style education helps kids with their social skills. Kids learn the importance of working together. Take it from me. It's not always easy when you're grouped with new people, sometimes those whom you've never met before. But at the end of it, every group member works in unison to achieve their one goal. I have a lot of friends who, without these projects, I would never have even talked to once. I cannot stress how vital it is for people to learn how to cooperate with one another. These people may no longer be in my class, some of them not even in my school anymore. But those few months that we spent researching, brainstorming, and occasionally arguing and fighting made us friends for life. It's play that helps us to do serious things better. Games add to the educational experience and helps improve learning by making it more purposeful. To face the oncoming challenges of our nation and of the world, we need young people with creative thoughts and ignited minds. Like Dr. APJ Abdul Kalam said, when learning is purposeful, creativity blossoms. When creativity blossoms, thinking emanates. And when thinking emanates, knowledge is fully lit. Thank you.